every time I meet Madiba, his humility is just so striking. You know, he's 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 got such a common touch um, with with people. He makes you feel at ease. He makes you feel important, and he takes time. And that is just a, 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 a it's just a wonderful virtue that uh, that I every time I leave Madiba's presence, it stands out to my mind that he's such a humble person. We adopted a motto, one team, one country, because we realized that this competition is for everyone in South Africa, and to do well in this competition will make everyone in South Africa proud. We underestimated how proud it would make South Africa. And during the Rugby World Cup, my phone would ring, my mobile phone, it would be Madiba, wanting to chat to me to find out, you know, what's happening, is the team focused, are they okay, you know, are the guys cool? And, and that to me is just, it's just amazing. You know, he had the time and the presence of mind to phone and say, guys, you know, we're all there behind you. And that meant so much. It's a small thing, but it meant a lot. It's, it's been well documented, my feelings, on uh, what happened that day of the final when I actually walked into the changing room and Madiba stood there wearing a springbok on his heart. That was an incredibly emotional moment for me in my life and uh, I just couldn't sing our anthem because I was just too emotional. I was so proud to be a South African and that sense um, actually prevailed in the changing room where all the players just looked at, um, at this man who took time out again to come into the changing room and to wish us good luck. And when we walked out of the stadium, the, the sounds of Madiba, Nelson, Nelson, Nelson reverberating around that stadium was, was just um, it's very powerful. When Madiba handed the trophy to me, uh, I shook his hand and, and he said to me, thank you for what you've done for South Africa. Um, I, I, I said to him, no, Madiba, you've got it wrong. Thank you for what you've done for South Africa. And I felt like hugging him. You know, I really felt like giving him a big hug, but it wasn't protocol. You know, I thought, you know, this is, uh, it's not protocol. Uh, and that just gave me shivers down my spine, you know, to be able to receive uh, the Holy Grail in rugby from such a, an amazing person and being, being able to lift that in front of a nation. A uh, couple of fond memories was when he phoned very early in the morning when we stayed in London to congratulate us on the birth of our, our firstborn, Jean, and giving him a nickname, Nkokele, which means leader. Uh, he also said that, you know, Jean would be a, a godchild of his. And then the second occasion when our little boy Stefan was born and he, he, we came back to South Africa, um, Madiba invited us for, for tea. And Stefan, sitting in the car on the way to his house in, in, in Houghton, continued to ask the question, so why is he not my godfather? And you could see that he was annoyed by this. And when we arrived at the house, Stefan walked straight up to Madiba and he shook his hands and he said to him, Madiba, will you please be my godfather? <laughs> this is a young five-year-old that were doing this. And Madiba just gave him a hug and he said to him, I will call you Goha, which means brave one. And that's just, again, you know, the humility and, and the intellect of, of the individual. This young kid was very brave. You could have imagined what went through his mind and summoning up the courage to walk to Madiba and said, Madiba, would you be my godfather? The fact that when we became a democracy, um, there was the outside world were, were focused on South Africa and they didn't have a lot of confidence in the success of South Africa. And here we had a leader that showed humility with great intellect that helped us in a smooth transition from apartheid to a democracy. Uh, if we look back, things could have gone totally wrong in South Africa. It didn't. And why did it not go wrong? Why did we have such a smooth transition? It's because of a leader. And in the end, it's all about leaders. And we had the most amazing leader at the right time. I am an African With an open heart And a rainbow-colored skin And I fit in Cause I live under African sky